first off, Donald Trump's not going anywhere. He's here for two terms, period. Uh, he will win the second term. It won't even be a contest. Uh, if they thought the first one was a runaway train, what, wait for the next uh, election. Uh, you know, the second thing is, is that when I had prophesied back in uh, uh, November of 2015, I prophesied that two th or time is up for those who are corrupt is what the word that God had shared with everyone. And that this sitting president uh, was corrupt. Uh, basically, he, he was a lying, deceitful thief and that he would be stripped and ripped of the presidency. Now, a lot of people thought that was going to be uh, him being impeached. That had nothing to do with that because uh, I, I caught a lot of flack for that. But the point being is that I always sensed that the Lord was saying that after he's out of office, he would be charged for treason and he would end up going to prison. And he will go to prison along with a ton of other people. So everything that you're seeing coming out right now, this, this word that God gave, time is up for those who are corrupt, talked about judges, senators, congressmen and women at the local, state and federal levels that God himself was going to expose. Now, people have to realize they get angry with Donald Trump with all this stuff. This is not Donald Trump's agenda. He's being used by God. This is God's agenda to expose this corruption and take it down. You know, God has showed me, he, he sat right here in 2015 and said that he would be ripped and stripped of the presidency in that prophetic word that God spoke. So in that, it, you know, there's only really one way to strip a president of the title of president, and that is to be charged with treason. And now what is the penalty for treason? Yes. Going to prison, period. Well, well it, can be, it can be as high as death, yes. Yeah, so uh, it can be as high as death. So, and I'm not prophesying that, but what I'm what I'm saying is that these people will go to jail. Hillary Clinton will go to jail. Barack Obama will go to jail. Uh, Eric Holder, Loretta Lynch, all these people. Now, some of these people aren't going to go quietly. You know what I mean? And that's when we're going to have to be careful as far as some of the civil unrest goes. Uh, I have put this out uh, probably a year and a half ago on one of the shows I did that uh, one of the four points that God was showing me that we need to be doing as the army of God is that we need to be praying against the civil unrest because when – they start issuing the actual arrests, that's when you're going to start seeing the, the trouble start. And people yes, should be I, 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 did, I did say Obama is going to jail, and I still stick by that. And here's, here's another point that I will say on this, and I'll, I'll go one step further with this, is that I believe at some point you will see Barack Obama on TV giving testimony uh, as to why he did what he did, what he did, trying to. He will be seen stuttering and sputtering he will be not be able to make a sentence, complete sentence, and the entire world will see this, and they will actually see him, and they will look at him, and they will say, this is the man that actually almost brought down America? This is the man that everyone was so scared of? This man cannot even complete a sentence. That's what they will see him doing.